Hey everybody, it's Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel and I'm coming to you from an apartment that I'm renting in downtown Cairo. Now, like the title of my video said, I have some kind of not so good news. I got diagnosed with COVID-19 and I just wanted to share with everybody what my experience was like, figuring out I had COVID, getting tested, getting that positive result, and now what I'm going to do with my isolation time here in Egypt. So first, a little bit of context. I had both of my doses of the Moderna vaccine back in April and May of 2021, and I arrived to Egypt for this trip November 10th of 2021. I had a couple of days to get everything ready for my group trip, and then I did my Highlights of Egypt tour from November 12th to the 21st. And after my tour, a couple of days later is when I started noticing that I wasn't feeling well. I was feeling a little bit off. At the time, I chalked it up to just being really tired because it was my big group trip and I was really busy helping everybody have a great experience and showing everybody the sights and then taking people out in the evenings. Uh, but then after a couple of days, I realized, you know what, I think I've got a fever. I think this could be COVID, so I better get tested and I better figure out what's going on. I'm really lucky that I had both doses of my vaccination before coming to Egypt and before contracting COVID, but I definitely could have done a much better job of wearing my mask when in public spaces. Wearing a mask in public spaces in Egypt is technically required, but when you go into a public space, usually only about a quarter of people you'll see will be wearing their masks and I was not consistent with wearing my mask, except for in places like in the airport or on an airplane or in public transportation. If I would have worn my mask more consistently, I might not have contracted COVID. So I can't go back in time and change my behavior, but just something for people to be aware of when they're coming to Egypt. So today is Friday, November 26th and I officially got my positive COVID-19 test result yesterday morning, so Thursday. I started to notice that, hey, I think I've got a fever, I think something's not right on Tuesday of this same week, and then Wednesday is when I went in and I got tested. So far, the symptoms that I've experienced have been pretty mild, probably thanks to that vaccination that I got. I had a fever on Tuesday and Wednesday that broke yesterday and I don't feel feverish at all today. Uh, I started to lose my taste this morning actually, having trouble tasting my coffee. So we'll see if that lingers and how long that does last and that was something new as of today. And then I felt pretty fatigued um, since Monday actually, but I just figured that was from finishing up my big group trip. So. Fatigue, fever, loss of taste and smell are what I'm going through. Hopefully those symptoms are not going to get any worse and hopefully they're gonna resolve soon. So I noticed that I had a fever starting on Tuesday and Wednesday is when I went in to get COVID tested. I really wanted to pay with a credit card, so unfortunately I couldn't use the service that I've talked about in previous videos because they're cash only. So I actually went to Alpha Labs, which is a reputable lab here all over Egypt, and I went to one of their locations downtown that I'll share in the description for this video below. I was able to get my COVID test, get my results in less than 24 hours. The test cost me just under 100 US dollars, 1,500 Egyptian pounds, and I was able to pay with a credit card. I got my test results, which I'll share with you in a little bit, via text message that I was able to then go to a website in English and see my results that clearly said that I was positive for COVID-19. Here is the text message that came through from Alpha Labs. The second message is the one with my results. All I had to do was tap on the link. And here is what came up as soon as I tapped on the link. I didn't need to enter any information. The results are in English and I can clearly tell that my COVID-19 test was positive. So now that I know that I have a positive test result, my plan is that I'm going to be isolating in an apartment that I'm renting for 10 days 
starting from the first day that I started to experience symptoms. And I'm going to just be overly cautious and I'm going to get a COVID test on that 10th day just to make sure that I'm negative before I go out and keep creating content and seeing friends in Egypt and working on things for my travel business. So what happens if you happen to get sick in Egypt and you think it might be COVID-19? First, I would recommend that you get tested as soon as you start noticing symptoms. So you can go to the lab that I recommended, Alpha Lab downtown. If you're able to pay cash, you could have Dr. Marwa or one of her doctors come to your hotel and do the test in your hotel room. Or you can use one of the other labs that are throughout Egypt that can do COVID-19 testing. I'll provide a link to some of those recommended places from the US Embassy in the video description. While you're waiting for your test, you should stay isolated in your hotel or in your apartment or wherever you're staying. And hopefully, like my test results, you'll get your results back within less than 24 hours. So you'll be able to know right away if you should keep isolating or if you're free to go about your normal business in your trip to Egypt. If you do get that positive test result, you need to stay inside wherever you are for 10 days um, from your original start of your symptoms or up to two weeks if you have not been vaccinated against COVID-19. And of course, before you come out of isolation, your main symptoms like fever should not be there anymore. Those should have gone away before you end your isolation. Although you might still have something like loss of taste or smell that lingers for a long time after your positive test result for COVID-19. And I'm taking all of this guidance from the Center for Disease Control from the United States, and I will provide a link for that also in the video description. When you're isolating, there is a really great service that you can use to get groceries or to get food or coffee or pretty much anything under the sun delivered to your apartment or your hotel. It's called talabat.com and I'm going to link it in the video description so you can check it out too. You can do contactless delivery for this service and it's really similar to Uber Eats, but it's actually been around for a lot longer. So it's really, really, really convenient and it works really well. I've used it personally during this isolation to get all my groceries delivered to my apartment so that I don't have to leave and I can stay inside and have all the food and water and household things that I need sent up to me. So my plan for the next several days is to continue working on blog posts and other content for my travel business that I don't need to be outside on the streets, on public transportation, at museums to get work done on, and also just resting up and recovering from this virus. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you happen to have a positive COVID-19 result while you were in Egypt, I'd love to hear about your experience. What were your symptoms like? What was it like isolating at home? What did you do in order to stay busy during that time? And anything else that you'd like to share, you can drop a comment below. Again, I'm Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. I'm hoping that the next time I come to you, it will be with a little bit more of a positive video, but thanks again for watching. Talk to you later. Check us out on Instagram or Facebook at Egypt Adventures Travel, or go to www.egyptadventurestravel.com.